Santa brought snow to Summit, but did he bring a magic cure for holiday waste? Phil Lindemann with Crystal, 93 News. First, there's a brand new tow rope up high at Arapahoe Basin this season. The Lazy J tow rope takes skiers and riders the distance of a football field from the top of Lenaway Lift to the top of Montezuma Bowl at 12,400 feet. That means you won't have to skate from one to the other anymore, but don't worry, if skating is your thing, there's space for that next to the lift. The new tow rope opens when Montezuma Bowl opens for the season. Ski Patrol is checking that area every morning, but it's not ready for turn quite yet. Neither is A Basin's newest terrain, the Beavers and Steep Gullies, but Pally Chair has been spinning since the weekend. You've unwrapped gifts, you've eaten Christmas dinner, and now there's more trash than you know what to do with. Every year at Christmas time, Americans send an additional 1 million tons of garbage to landfills across the U.S., and about 40% of that is food waste. The rest is wrapping paper, cardboard boxes, and Christmas trees. Jesse Burley with High Country Conservation Center. It's such a disposable society. We're so used to throwing things away. But Burley says change can start today with you and your family. Separate wrapping paper and cardboard from plastics like CD and DVD wrappers. Those items can't be recycled, but cardboard and most paper can be. Taking a few minutes now makes the entire effort worth it down the line. If you go with the just about everything model, there's a lot of contamination issues that can ruin the rest of the recycling. Not sure where to find recycling around here? There are two centers in Summit County, one on Coin Valley Road outside of Colorado Mountain College in Breckenridge and one at the Summit County Commons in Frisco. Both are free and open to the public. That's the sound of a skier getting caught and buried in an avalanche. Avi season has been slow to get started, but all it takes is snow, and we got it this weekend. Since Friday, the Colorado Avalanche Information Center has recorded more than 30 avalanches across the state. That's up from just three slides for the entire season until now. 17 of the holiday slides were caused by blasting in the Seven Sisters terrain on Loveland Pass, but several others at Vail Pass and the Aspen area were caused by skiers. No one has been injured or buried so far this season, but Travis Rice reminds everyone why Avi education and humility are musts in the Know Before You Go video from CAIC. Avalanches don't discriminate. You know, they're equal opportunity killers. And they affect everyone in the mountains. Watch the Know Before You Go intro video online on the CAIC website. You can check avalanche conditions there or download the CAIC app. It's free and recently updated. We're in the thick of the holiday season, and with good cheer, often comes a higher risk of depression or even suicide. Betty Sarber, co-founder for the local branch of National Alliance on Mental Illness, explains the holiday blues. NAMI's done research around it, and they've found that even up to 64% of people actually feel a little low around the holidays. And I want anyone to know out there that always wonders why holidays aren't quite as happy as they wish they were. They're not alone. The Colorado Crisis Hotline can help. Summit County's suicide rate is three times higher than the rest of the nation, and the hotline is available 24-7 for anyone feeling down at the holidays. Call 1-800-493-TALK to get professional counseling help over the phone. The number again, 1-800-493-TALK. Help is free and available around the clock. You can also text for help. Text TALK to 38255. And then tune in tomorrow for more on mental illness at the holidays from Betty Sarber and the folks at NAMI. In sports, the Nuggets play the Jazz tonight in Denver. Game time is 7 p.m. The Colorado Avalanche have the night off. Phil Lindemann with Crystal, 93 News.